Eating U.S. Wendy's during breakfast hours. KTSA News Time is 438. Jack Riccardi on San Antonio's News Talk Station, 550 and 1071 KTSA. As we continue the early voting period, we're catching up with primary candidates. And today on our KTSA Connecticut Quality Water Softeners Newsmaker line, former state senator and Republican candidate for Governor Don Huffines is back uh, with us. And, and Senator Huffines, it's good to have you back again, and good afternoon to you. Well, thank you, Jack, and hello, Patriot. You know, when I drive my daughter to school every morning, I see one of your billboards. Uh, I see a lot of your signs and billboards, actually, which I'm sure you're happy to hear. Uh, but I see the one that says, uh, Huffines, an actual Republican. And I wanted to ask you about that because, uh, you know, there are all of these surveys and polls that indicate that Governor Abbott is, is way ahead of you by anywhere from four to ten times, uh, in terms of votes. Obviously, he's raised a lot of money. Um, wouldn't an actual Republican be whoever Republican voters say they favor? Well, I don't think so. You know, look, I think that a Republican should support our Republican priorities, our Republican legislative agendas, our Republican Party platform. It, that's Our platform, for instance, is put together by tens of thousands of Republicans every other year. We work at it at precinct conventions or county conventions and our state convention. And it, by the way, we had the largest political convention in the country, if not the na- in the world. But, and it clearly defines who we're, what we are, what Texas Republicans are, and what we stand for. And it has 300 planks in there. And then that when we, the Republicans, control everything in Austin, the House has said in the for 20 years that we can't get any of this, or very mm-hmm. little of it, becomes mm-hmm. law. Mm-hmm. So if you don't believe in our platform, are you really a Republican or are you not? Are mm-hmm. not? And let me tell you, I, I was in the legislature, as you know, from 14 to 18, mm-hmm. and I saw uh, the the results of our leadership not supporting our platform. And if they don't believe in it, and Abbott can get almost any bill done anytime he wants. He's the governor of Texas. He's the leader of the Republican Party. We don't get, for instance, we don't stop taxpayer-funded lobbying. We still have sexual the genital mutilation of our children. We don't have school choice. And I can go all the way down the road and I say, why is that? It's because Abbott doesn't believe in it. He doesn't yeah. want it to be law. I, or I be read law. I read through your I read through your website uh last night yeah. pretty exhaustively. I have to say everything in it sounded good to me. I, I, I agree with you. Um but is this a winning strategy to tell Republican voters you're not being good Republicans or you're not real Republicans because you've given this guy the greatest number of votes uh, in the last two elections? Well, look, uh, Abbott's never had a, a primary opponent in 30 years. Not in a primary. He's never had a real primary opponent. This is the first time Greg's going to ever have to be accountable to the Texas Republican Party voters. And, yeah, I think it's a great strategy. Wherever I go, I'm just telling you, I don't find a lot of support for the governor. And if there is, they they keep it really quiet, Um, and they just do. Uh, I think Republican primary voters are are frustrated and and they're angry and and they're uh, they're ready for change look this is oh i I, look there's a lot of angry people you're right and a lot of frustrated people and i have to say when when people call into a talk show you hear you hear a lot of that i mean i feel like i have kind of a front row seat for what you're for what you're talking about and i i I agree yeah i mean i agree with you but i don't ever hear people say i i don't believe the republican party platform is being adequately supported or reflected they just want things done right or in a common sense way or by uh something that 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 morally seems right to them whether it's the border whether it's the schools whether it's trans issues they they don't refer to the platform I, i'm sure they haven't read it I, i'm sure that what they're looking for is somebody who who you know has the north star right and and you, you may be that guy and by the way i think you're probably going to do much better than these polls indicate but I, I come back to that question again what is an actual republican if the numbers don't go the direction you're you're going in well i think you you've got a very good point and i just asked a simple question is the border secure are your property taxes going down do you have confidence in our election or we went in the culture war and the answer to all that is no and i say we're and i ask me were you good with that are you okay with that? And if you are, vote for him. 
Mm-hmm. But I'm not, and I don't think most Republicans are either, and I have comprehensive solutions to all of those issues. You know, most candidates running for office won't ever tell you their solutions because most of them don't have any. But it's also so they don't have to be accountable. And I, my battle in Austin was generally always with the, with the Republicans because they never wanted to be accountable. They it, don't is it possible, though, that people are, I mean, you know, again, I'm not arguing with your, your yeah. point okay. about we, there, sh- we, there should be for a state that has Republican majorities in both houses and all statewide offices, there should be a hell of a lot more getting done than is getting done. But but I guess is people maybe people's real nightmare is not Greg Abbott as their governor, but Beto O'Rourke as their governor. I mean, is is that what you're really dealing with? And no, I don't think. And look, I think we're going to win. I really do. I don't think Abbott's going to get a majority of the vote. We're going to get him in a runoff, and he's going to lose. And that's just a fact. Uh, I'm not worried about Bobby O'Rourke <clears throat> at all. I'm worried about what's. I'm wor- I've got the solutions, and I'm worried about implementing those. In, 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 I'm worried about Texas and getting our solutions into law. I'm not interested in the position as much as I am interested in implementing the solutions. I don't need a new job or a new career, and I've got that puts me at a real advantage because I'm not worried about the political consequences. I'm worried about solving the issues that affect Texas, and if on the border property taxes and everything else <clears throat> i see I, I get that i guess what i just keep coming back to every time i see that billboard i think yeah. do people worry about having somebody who is republican enough or do people worry about having somebody who's doing the right thing i i think the terminology is off i don't think people are worried about is this person sufficiently republican or sufficiently democratic it's is this person doing what i need and my family needs him to do well, look, I've got a lot of messages on a lot of billboards around the state. That's just one of many. And and I, I want to solve the problems that affect Texas. And I think to be an actual Republican is somebody who's actually going to do something mm-hmm. instead of just running for office so they can be a career politician. Mm-hmm. And so who are some other Republican actual Republicans in Texas? Who would you point to and say, there's an example of somebody who not only has an R after their name, but really does the things that, that the party is supposed to stand for? Who, who would be an example of that? All those that fight for our party principles and vote, and, and vote conservative. Have you ever met a Republican in Texas that didn't say they were conservative? I, no, but see, those are those gonna, words. I don't know what those words mean anymore. We had George P. Bush on yesterday, and he says he's a conservative. What does that mean? No, that's the point. That's the point. So no, I, I, the word. That's why I'm saying I don't think the words matter. I think the actions matter. And I'm asking, can you name someone okay. who holds office yeah. as a Republican who is the kind of Republican you would be? All the Republicans that vote right, that vote conservative, and they're willing to fight for our party principles. And they're, I mean, just go look at the vote scorecards on how they vote. I'm not going to go down the list on them and, 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 and name names, but there, we've got some good conservatives in there. We really do. We had some in the Texas Senate when I was there. Uh, two of those aren't there anymore. It was Connie Burton and, and uh, Van Taylor. He was quite conservative. Bob Hall's still there. Uh, but there aren't that many that really vote conservative and walk to walk. It just aren't. Well, how would that work if you were governor? Vote. Would you be able to get this legislature that's very squishy and and rhino? Would they would they let you do any of the things you're saying on your website? You would do. I'm the only candidate running for governor that's actually served in that swamp. Period. Nobody else running. Abbott's never been in there. I know what they want. I know the snake pit that it is. I know who mm-hmm. I could trust, who I can. I know the committees. I know the players. I know the budget. I know the tools in the toolbox for the governor and the tools that the governor has. And, and, and yes, of course I can work with them. I know them I very, I know them very well what we can get done. The power leads into influence, leans into influence. And right now the influence in Austin is with very moderate Republicans. Mm-hmm. And that's who's empowered the Strauss. That's who's empowered mm-hmm. Phelan. Is the governor? It's not. It's a lot of it's political theater. A lot, most of it's not what it really seems. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you would, by yourself, be able to overcome that moderate establishment in Austin. If you're the governor, absolutely. 
Most things in Texas are downstream of the governor's office, our virtue, our culture, our legislation, our budget. Uh, okay. The governor gets, along with the speaker and lieutenant governor, for instance, gets uh, first call on the budget. And we, we work on the budget for six months with LBB before it even gets to the legislature. And then after the legislature gets finished with it, of course, it has to go to the governor with line item veto power. And every Democrat almost votes for the budget. Not, you know, I don't think that means it's a conservative budget if every Democrat's voting for it. And then look at, and then the legislation. Of course, the governor gets last call on every single bill that comes out of the building. And I can tell you this: I've been there. I know what most members want. They want to get bills done. So a lot of leverage with both of those, two, just those two tools in the toolbox. And there's many others. Okay. The power of appointments. The governor's got the power of appointments. You appoint the director of education, the health and human services. That's where we spend 75% of our money. And all the other uh, agencies and and commissions and everything else that directs it. Texas, the medical board, the pharmacy board, the real estate commission, and most importantly for our culture is the board of regents of the universities. That, all that, right. So more more, uh, more information. Uh, you can read the same website I did, donhuffines.com, and um, I appreciate your coming back with us. I hope we will have you again, and uh, appreciate the time today. No, you're certainly welcome. I'd be happy to come back on. All right, will do. Thank you. We'll get a look at KTSA Time Saver Traffic. We've got much more to say about all this. I want to hear from you at 210-599-5555. Um, and, you know, if you're selling a car, you don't have to sell the car. You don't have to do the work. You don't have to be the salesperson. You don't have to meet with people. You don't have to run it through the car wash. You've heard me say this, right? You don't have to do any of those things. With GiveMeTheVin.com, let me put it to you this way. If you are still doing any of those things, if you're putting a sign in the back window, if you're taping a piece of paper to the mailbox in your neighborhood with tear-off phone numbers, if you're trying to put the word out on uh, maybe social media that you've got a car for sale, if you're doing all those things, it's because you want to do them. But if you just want to get a good market offer on a vehicle, car, truck, SUV, work vehicle, farm vehicle, ATV, anything that rolls or rolls on tracks, they're buying it at GiveMeTheVin.com. Dot com And you'll get the check, and they'll take the vehicle, and you don't have to do anything more than that. That's the whole story. Go to.